Hello, my name is Rachel Pence and I'm the Rivanna Conservation Alliance's Monitoring Program Manager. And I'm really happy to be here today to talk about our level three water quality monitoring programs and how they are beneficial to all involved partners. A little bit of background about our organization and our watershed. Uh, the Rivanna Conservation Alliance is a nonprofit watershed organization that was formed in 2016 by a merger of two different organizations called the Rivanna Conservation Society and Streamwatch. And the organization was created to provide the community with a set of tools and programs specifically designed to help clean and protect the Rivanna River and its tributaries. We are based in the city of Charlottesville, but we do work all over the Rivanna River watershed which is that blue shape there within the larger Chesapeake Bay watershed. And the Rivanna River watershed is about 770 square miles and has a population of about 160,000 people. The headwaters are super nice and come straight out of Shenandoah National Park. And the main stem Rivanna winds its way around Charlottesville and flows south until it meets up with the James River in Columbia, Virginia. And RCA has two volunteer water quality monitoring programs. We have a bacteria monitoring program and a benthic microinvertebrate monitoring program, both of which collect data within the Ravana River watershed. Virginia Citizen Water Quality Monitoring Program utilizes volunteers to collect data. Citizen monitoring programs are often run by local governments, soil and water conservation districts, organizations such as nonprofits like RCA, different community groups and colleges. And the Virginia Department of Environmental Quality or DEQ has been partnering with these community-based or citizen monitoring organizations since 1998. And DEQ certifies these groups at different levels depending on the type of monitoring that's being done and the protocols that are being used. Level one data can be used for educational purposes and to notify government officials of a possible problem. A good example of this type of monitoring would be a simple chemical monitoring kit that includes pH or dissolved oxygen tablets that just kind of give you a general sense of what those parameters are in a body of water. And the next level, level two, applies to data that is collected by volunteers, but then the data has to then be verified by local or state government officials. So a good example of this type of program would be the Virginia Save Our Streams Benthic Macroinvertebrate Monitoring Program, which is a really popular program in the Commonwealth. And then level three is the highest level of certification that monitoring groups can achieve in Virginia. At this level, volunteer monitoring data is considered equivalent in scientific quality and rigor to the data that's collected by state or local agencies. And the data is used for environmental decision-making as if the samples had been collected by the agency itself. So having level three certification for water quality monitoring is extremely impactful. And RCA has the unique distinction of being the only nonprofit in Virginia to have level three certification for both benthic and bacteria monitoring programs. Our benthic monitoring program has volunteers that go out and sample benthic macroinvertebrates to assess long-term health of waterways. And we use these organisms because they are considered biological indicators that vary in their sensitivity to or tolerance of different types of pollution. So they're really, really useful organisms to study when looking at water quality. And we do this type of monitoring at 50 different locations in the Ravana watershed each spring and each fall. And most sites have data starting in 2004, so it's been around for quite some time. And the program started out at level two using the Virginia Save Our Streams methodology, which identifies organisms to the order level. The program started the level three certification process in 2006 out of a desire to have the data be more impactful and more useful. And during the process, we adapted the Virginia Save Our Streams methods and started identifying organisms to the family level in order to achieve level three status. 
So it ended up being a two year process that was completed in 2008. And although we have been certified at level three for quite some time, the program does undergo a, former, a formal audit with DEQ every five years. And then informal audits and process review occur on an ongoing basis. For our bacteria program, volunteers test for E. coli bacteria levels and turbidity at 18 urban sites that we sample once a month. And two of these locations are really high use recreational sites that are tested weekly during the summer in addition to the monthly sampling that we do. For this program, most sites have data collected since 2014. And this program also started out at the level two with the call a scan method. And then in 2017, we switched to the call alert method, which is a level three method that is much more sophisticated and not nearly as subjective as the level two call a scan method. This map helps to show some of the impact that monitoring groups have in Virginia. And so all the dots on this map show locations where different types of groups are out monitoring in Virginia and the groups that are submitting their data to DEQ for water quality assessment purposes. The green dots on the map show site, represent groups that are state government agencies, not including DEQ, uh, also includes local government and private industry. And the blue dots represent sites that are monitored by citizen volunteer monitoring groups. And DEQ estimates that over $3 million in value are provided by Virginia volunteer monitoring groups, which is pretty substantial. And you might notice that there is a pretty large cluster of blue sites in central Virginia. So you can see there's almost like a perfect outline of the Rivanna watershed. So all those dots that fall within that purple outline represents um, sites that are monitored by RCA. And in 2018, RCA was the third highest contributor of data in the state in terms of stream miles. So we ended up contributing in 2018 over 570 miles worth of data to DEQ. Level three data is extremely impactful because the data is considered to be equivalent to those collected by state agencies and can be used for reporting and regulatory purposes at local, state, and federal levels. And so our data can be and has been used for identifying impaired waters, for developing TMDLs, and our programs have actually contributed data to three different TMDLs in the Rivanna watershed, which is pretty neat. It can also be used for MS4 stormwater programs. Um, our programs have actually detected active sewer leaks before. Um, and so because we've been out there monitoring um, and discovering situations like this, it has led to a quick repair by MS4 permit holders and other partners. Level three data can also be used for water safety information and water quality improvement decisions. So we have a lot of different um, value that's provided to various partners, uh, local groups, as well as DEQ. Um, but there have also been several benefits to us as an organization. Having, having level three status has generated a lot more support for our programs, both financially and technically, because the data is more useful. And it's also helped us to recruit and retain volunteers because the data is so impactful and they're really excited to be a part of that process. And actually DEQ has told us that our programs have been extremely useful to them, not just because of the ways our data can be used, but because of the number of sites and coverage that we do have in the watershed. DEQ has actually been able to focus on other areas in Virginia and allocate resources elsewhere in the state since they don't need to establish as many monitoring sites in the Rivanna, since we pretty much have it covered. We have certainly learned a lot of lessons by going through the certification process. We've learned that it's really critical to find a champion or mentor to help guide you through the process. And having a strong partner for RCA in DEQ 
was crucial to being able to have the support and knowledge base for achieving certification. It's also extremely important to work with local partners. Um, providing the value of the monitoring programs to local partners was crucial in having their buy-in and support, both financially and through their knowledge. And some of our partners actually do serve on our science advisory committee and provide us with technical advice and review of our programs, which make them stronger as we continue to evolve and grow as an organization. And finally, it's vital to work to develop a strong volunteer base and create support for monitors so that they're successful and feel supported when they're out collecting these important data, because we certainly couldn't do this without them. So it's important to, to keep that strong volunteer base and keep people coming back season to season. And with that, I'd like to take this time to thank RCA's partners and supporters as well as our volunteer monitors that keep our programs going strong. Thank you so much for having me. And at this time, I'll take any questions.